everyone, it's me, Terry of the Yarn Joy Podcast. Welcome back to another tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make these cute little curly legged, googly eyed octopus. <laughs> They're very cute stocking, make very cute stocking stuffers or uh, just fidget toys or just cute little. Uh, anytime you want to make a cute little toy to cheer somebody up. <laughs> um, this pattern was designed by Paula Wells and she gave me permission to do a tutorial showing you how to make one. Okay, so look how cute it turns out in variegated yarns. I think it turns out especially cute when you use variegated. But in today's tutorial, I'm going to be using a solid color because I think it'll be easier for you to see the stitches. You need some yarn. I'm going to be using worsted weight yarn. This is pink mainstays from Walmart and it is a worsted weight yarn. Okay. You can use any yarn weight that you want. You could use chunky, you could use um, worsted weight, DK weight, whatever you yarn you want to use, but uh, you would change your hook size according to the yarn, size of yarn that you use. So I'm going to be using worsted weight. And so I'm going to be using a four millimeter crochet hook. Okay. And of course you need a, a set of your little googly eyes. And I will link down below in the description box where you can purchase these from Amazon. I'm sure there are other places that you can find them as well. I got mine from Timu actually, but uh, I will link down below where you can find them off of Amazon. Okay. You're going to need a darning needle to weave in your ends. You're going to need a pair of scissors, of course, and you're going to need a stitch marker. Okay, and yes, that is it. <laughs> so let's get started making these cute little curly legged, googly eyed octopus. <laughs> okay, so you're going to take your worst wit yarn or whatever yarn you're using, okay, and your googly eyes and your hook. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to attach my yarn to my hook with a slip stitch. I mean, a slip knot, sorry. <laughs> okay. Okay, and then you're going to take your googly eyes and you want to hold them with the eyes facing you and the eyes da uh, down, okay? And then you're going to take your yarn and you're going to do, you're going to work around this ring right here and you're going to work 12 single crochets around the ring, okay? And since I already have my yarn on my hook, I'm going to go under and then I'm just going to make a just a regular single crochet and that will be my first single crochet okay just like that and as you're working you can slide them slide the stitches over okay so there's one two three just working around that loop four five, six, seven, slide them over, eight, nine, ten, okay, I've got two more to make, 11, and 12, okay? Okay, so now you can kind of slide them back where they're kind of evenly distributed around that loop, okay? Oh, I got a knot, let me fix that. <laughs> Okay. Okay. So at the end of this round, after you make your 12 single crochets, you're going to pull this forward and you're going to slip stitch into your first single crochet. Okay. And you can slide the stitches around if you need to, but you want to slip stitch. This is the only time you're going to be doing a slip stitch except for at the very end. Okay, so I'm going to go into that first single crochet and I'm just going to do a slip stitch. Okay. 
and I'm going to chain one. And now I'm going to do one single crochet into that first single crochet, the same that we slip stitched into the same stitch. Okay, so I'm going to do one single crochet. Now I'm going to take my stitch marker and I'm going to go ahead and put that stitch marker into that first single crochet that we just made, just so that it'll be easy to find our first stitch of the round when we come around, because we'll be working into that. Okay, now in the next single crochet, I'm gonna work two single crochets, one and two in the same stitch. Okay, and now I'm gonna repeat that all the way to the end, okay? so. Uh, and I'm at the end of this round, since we had 12 stitches in the first round, this round we're going to have 18 at the end. So we've already done three. So one, two, and three, because that's in the same stitch. And then in the next single crochet, I'm going to make one. So that's n stitch number four. And then the next one, I'm going to do two. So that's stitch number five and six in the same single crochet. Okay. And then the next one's going to be seven. And then eight and nine is going to go into the next stitch. Okay. And then a single crochet in the next one will be stitch number 10. And then 11 and 12 is going to go into the next single crochet. And then the next single, next single crochet will be stitch number 13. And then 14 and 15 is going to be in the next single crochet. So 14 and 15. And then the next one is stitch. We'll have just one, and that will be stitch number 16. And then you'll have to look around the back here. And then in the very last one, you're going to do 17 and 18. Okay. Now, if you can see that, that stitch right there, that's not a stitch. That's just where we slip stitched into the, into the first single crochet of the round, you know, but when we join the round, don't worry about that. You're not going to work into that one. You're just going to go over it. Okay. So that's why we marked the first stitch of the round. Okay. So that was round number two, one more round, and then we'll be making the legs already. Okay. So we're not going to slip stitch in this one. We're just going to keep going. Okay. So the next stitch will be going into the very first stitch the one where the marker is. Okay. So I'm going to move my marker but remember where that stitch is. And now I'm gonna put one single crochet into that stitch. Okay, and then you can put your marker back into that stitch showing you where the first stitch of the round is if, if you want to. Okay, so this one, uh, right now we have 18 stitches in this round. So in the, the end of, I mean, you know, this previous round and then the, the stitch count we're gonna have for this round we're going to make now is going to end up with 24 stitches. So we're going to do one single crochet in the first stitch, which we just did that. And then we're going to do one single crochet in the next stitch. Okay. And then we're going to do two single crochets in the next stitch. And then we're going to repeat that sequence all the way around. Okay. Until we get back to the marker again. So that's one single crochet in each of the first two stitches and then a single crochet increase or two single crochets into the next stitch. Okay. So let's do that again. So we've made four already. So this is going to be stitch number five. Okay. In the next stitch and then stitch number six will go into the next stitch and then the stitch number seven and eight will go into the next stitch so seven and eight okay and then stitch number nine will go in the next one stitch number 10 will go the next one and then 11 and 12 will go in the next one Okay, one stitch in the in e one stitch each in the first two stitches and then a, a two single crochets in the next stitch, okay? So that's 12, we're halfway around, okay? So 13 in the next one, you know, stitch number 13 in the next stitch, stitch number 14 in the next stitch, and then 15 and 16 in the next one, okay? And then we have 17, stitch number 17 in the next stitch, and then stitch number 18, and then stitch number 19 and 20 is going to be in the next one. 
19 and 20. Okay, and then stitch number 21 will go into the next stitch. Stitch number 22 will go to the next one. And then 23 and 24 will go into the last one, which is the stitch right before the marker. So 23 and 24 in the same stitch. Okay, so now we have the body of our octopus already. Isn't that fast? So now we're going to take this marker out. And this is going to be where we start the final round, which will have the leg, we'll be forming the legs. So we're going to do one single crochet in the first stitch just to get us started. Okay, you can put that marker back into that stitch if you want to. And now we're going to make legs. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to chain 25 chains. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Now we're going to do one half double crochet all the way back down that chain, but we're going to put the first one in the second chain from the hook. So half double crochet. This is the first chain in the hook. We don't want to put it in that one. We want to put it in the next one. Okay, right there. So half double crochet. And then now we're going to just do half one half double crochet in each chain all the way back down. And that's going to make the first leg. Okay. So one half double crochet all the way down the chain. Okay, I'm going to keep doing half double crochets until I get down to the bottom of this chain. And then I will meet you up when I get down to the last half double crochet when we get down back down to the base. So I've worked all the way back down the chain. And as you, should, as you can see, it curls up on its own, okay, which is what you want it to do. Okay, I need to make one more half double crochet into the very last chain. Okay, so let me do that. One half double crochet. Okay, we're going to attach the leg back to the body again. And so what the way we're going to do that is we're going to do one single crochet in the very first stitch that we haven't worked into yet as we're going around, you know, the first unworked stitch. We're just going to do a single crochet. And now we're going to do two more single crochets, one in each of the next two stitches. So that's a total of three single crochets. So we did one, two, three, and then we're ready to make another leg. Okay, so we're going to chain 25. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Okay, so now we're ready to make our second leg. We're going to do the same thing that we did with the first leg, we're going to do one half double crochet into the second chain from the hook. And then we're going to do one half double crochet in each chain all the way down until we get back down to the base again. When we get there, we're going to do uh, three single crochets, you know, one each in the next three stitches. One, two, three. And then we're going to make another leg. Do the same thing. Chain 25 and then come back down with half double crochets. So I'm going to work on mine. And when I get to the end of the last leg, because you're going to have eight of these legs okay because the octopus has eight legs so when you get to the eighth one i will meet back up with you when i get to my eighth one in the last stitch and then i'll show you how we're going to end off okay see you in a bit okay i'm on my eighth leg okay so that's the last leg i've got one more half double crochet to do into my chain okay so let me do that half double crochet. Okay, so now I'm ready to attach my last leg to the body and I want to go uh, into the very next single crochet on the previous round. So that's one single crochet and then 
two single crochets and then now you see we're at the marker already because if you remember at the beginning of the round we started with one single crochet so for this last one you don't have to do three single crochets between the legs you just have to do two single crochets okay so two single crochets one in each of those remaining two stitches now i'm going to take my marker out and now I'm, I'm just going to slip stitch into the first single crochet from the round okay just like that now we are finished so now i'm going to cut my yarn with my scissors cut my yarn leave a little tail to be able to um, weave in the ends and then i'm just going to pull my yarn through okay now i'm going to get my yarn needle and the first I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, put the yarn, the beginning tail onto my needle and I'm going to weave in the ends. I mean, weave in this beginning tail end. Okay. Now you can look from the front and see if it's looking okay. If you notice, right where the where we slip stitch, right there between the eyes, it might be a little bit, um, oh, like a little bit kind of messy looking. So you could use actually use these tails to to fix that. Okay. So I'm gonna go through up from the back. I'm gonna go through that hole, and then I'm going to go put my thread between the eyes and that will pull up that that kind of loose slip stitch that we made when we slip stitch in the very first round and then go back down into the back okay just like that see and then that kind of helps that that the stitches there that's in between there kind of uh, neatens them up some okay so now I'm going to just go ahead and just weave in my tail um, just under some stitches here in the back, just like that. Take my needle off and trim that end. Okay. And now I'm going to take my ending tail and just do the same thing. I'm going to just weave in the, weave it in. Okay. So I li I'm liking the way it looks in that hole there. So I think that's going to be fine. So now all I'm going to do with this one is I'm just going to weave it into the back hide my stitches and since it's all one color it's going to be very easy to you know it's a solid color so it's going to be very easy to hide your stitches hide your tail i do it one way and then i come over here and then i run it the opposite way underneath some stitches and then turn it and then i'm going to go one more direction <laughs> this way <laughs> under some stitches just like that Oop. okay and now i'm going to snip this one off okay there you go i am finished with my little octopus <laughs> he's just so cute <laughs> And like I said, they're so fun to play with these legs. They just bounce back and you can curl them up, um, you know, like this. So they're all curled around. That's kind of fun to play with. <laughs> okay. So that is how you make the little curly legged, googly eyed octopus toy. Thank you so much, Paula, again, for giving me permission to make the tutorial for this cute little octopus. And I hope that you will have fun. Any, any of those that want to make these for stocking stuffers or, or just little gifts or one for yourself. I hope you have fun making them. And uh, comment down below in the description, I mean, in the comment section, if you do make these and what colors that you used, uh, you can either try to, you know, contrast color as far as the, the color of the eyes and the color of the yarn that you use, or you may want to tr pick out a color that kind of blends in with some of the other, you know, some of the yarn that you're using, you know, either way, it looks really great. Okay, so thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it, and we will see you in the next video. Bye!